Heavens to Pete. What day is it? Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Here's to you. Mm. Once again, no cold soda in the fridge. Terrible. <sighs> what was I going to do? I, I had something entertaining for you, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, I'm trying yet another thing as I work out how to record videos. There are basically three settings for this camera using Logitech software. So there's teeny tiny picture, which is what we have now. There's slightly bigger picture, which is what I've been using, which is kind of half and half worked. And then there's enormous picture, which is so gigantic and would take up so much disk space that I wouldn't even bother using it. And besides, is what what really is there worth seeing in this photo anyway? Me? My, my Nidosaur shirt, maybe? Anything back there? You've already seen all that stuff. So we're going to try it with the lowest quality and see if that makes things happen any better. Uh, and then we have to decide if it's better to have a clearer photo of me or hopefully to have my lips and what I'm saying actually in sync. Even then, there's no guarantee it's going to work. We shall see. Hey, here's something neat. It lights up. That's a Halloween thing. There's a lot of Halloween things. Ooh, the best stuff is during Halloween. And I'm not just the candy, the light up things, the strobe light you saw, the thing to make sure that cars don't run you over while you're trick or treating. But Halloween is long gone. It's January 24th. Current temperature is 21 degrees. Is that right? We'll bring it up. The official temperature rounds up to 21 degrees. Really, it's 20 and a half. We got up to 24 today. That was very exciting. At least the snow is over. It's not like we had a lot of snow yesterday. We had just enough snow to make sure that driving was impossible and that there would be at least one time on my way to work that I would hit the brakes and ask myself, am I going to rear end that truck in front of me? I didn't, of course, because I'm an excellent driver. But as you know, when I have problems like that, that means that everyone else in the state can't drive either. Fortunately, the truck in front of me could. He made sure that I had plenty of space before I started hitting the brakes. But the roads were okay. It's just that one part where it wasn't really treated well, and you just kind of skidded a little bit, and the anti-lock brakes, you could hear them anti-locking. It's kind of that stutter, that ba 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 You're just like, oh, man. So that's what my driving was like. I could have remembered this yesterday while I was talking to you, except I was spending the whole time thinking about leaving. And then, excuse me. <coughs> that's for you. There was a Timberwolves game with the Rockets last night. It was like the worst game in the world. Well, it wasn't, but it was it was a reminder of how awful last season was because a lot of it just kind of felt like one of last year's games where they would just get in the hole and they would try to come back and they'd get to within four or three or two and then they'd let the opponents go on another 10 nothing run. And this time they actually had a lead in the fourth or the third. I think it was near the end of the third, briefly. And then they ended up losing by 15, the largest loss of the year. The worst uh, for the Timberwolves. It, to, you know, to give them credit, they only had nine guys because between injuries and people getting the flu, really they had eight and a half guys because Kevin Love had the flu and he played anyway and he still had an ungodly amount of points even after taking him out halfway through the fourth when they kind of gave, gave in and threw in the towel. But just... Uh, it's not fun to sit through when you're at the Target Center, really, for a game like that. You just It's just a whole bunch of, uh, uh, why did they make that choice? Why did he do that pass? Why did he take that shot? Why didn't he take that shot? And on and on. So that's your Timberwolves update. I went back to see if there was anything I needed to answer that you had asked me that I hadn't answered. And I actually, I hadn't come up with anything. So if I have forgotten, and you're still paying attention, although we're up to number 16 now, and I, I don't know how many of you are still paying attention, although I have subscribers, so 
Maybe they're just knocking them all out at once uh, on a slow night when there's nothing on TV. Uh, let me know is the point I was trying to make. Uh, feel free to ask me again. Don't be afraid to repeat yourself. I do mean to get back to you. Uh, and if I've forgotten, it's just because I'm scatterbrained. And really, that's enough. I'm scatterbrained. I, I tend to forget stuff. And then I tend to remember stuff at inopportune times. So as much as I would like to answer questions, I won't remember them right now when I'm talking to you. But then about three miles from the house, it'll be like, right, I was supposed to talk about that and I didn't. Boy, I better remember to do that tomorrow. And then I don't. I am scrolling through the thread on the W, though, just in case you see there's anything I've forgotten. Now, I know Greg really wants me to talk about the New York Giants, and I don't want to talk about the New York football Giants. They knocked out the Packers. That's bad enough. Now they're in the Super Bowl. I don't know. I, I really thought the 49ers were going to win. Well, you heard me pick both home teams, so I was 50-50 on that. But the 49ers... And even the Ravens, the Ravens had it and they blew it. The 49ers blew it. Turnover's bad. And then with the Ravens, it was, you got to catch the touchdown. You know, forget about the missed field goal. Because even if he'd have made the field goal, there was no thing, nothing guaranteeing that they would have won in overtime. They had to catch that touchdown. Then you have the lead. Then you win. Because the team with the most points, 38 after the hour, the team with the most points wins the game. I don't know if you're aware of this concept, but I want you to think about it. The team that has the most points, they win the game 100% of the time. That is a statistic you can back up with facts. <clears throat> so I'm at seven and a half minutes, and, oh no, well, I'm almost at seven and a half minutes. There was a complaint yesterday from Cerebus that I owed him five minutes. And first of all, that was practically six minutes. So if anything, it would have been four minutes. But the truth is, I'm not going to give you ten minutes every day. I mean, I could, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm not saying I'm going to today or not, but... Come on, man. Anyway, I want to see if this thing will work, too. Maybe I will go 10 minutes just to see how big the file is. That's the other thing. Yesterday I'm sitting there thinking, I still have to upload this file. And it came out to, you know, 170 some odd megs or whatever it was. And I just knew it wasn't going to happen. So I had to leave the thing uploading and then hope that when I got home it would be up. And it was. And who really cares if I post the link at 6 p.m. or at 10.30 p.m.? Besides, if you're subscribing, you get notified anyway, right? No, because YouTube is really awful about notifying people about their subscriptions. I know this because I'm subscribed to folks, and I'm lucky if I get an email a week. <sighs> Why can't stuff just work the way I want it to work all the time for me? I don't care if it doesn't work for you. It needs to work for me. Have I told you about Nidosaur? Google Nidosaur or find them on Facebook. Good metal. I sent Aaron their CD, but he never told me if he liked it or not. Aaron, you're probably watching, so I want a, I want a Nidosaur review. Can you do that for me? I'm sure Nidosaur would be interested in knowing as well. All right. I'm not farting around. I'm going to get out of here. i got to catch the State of the Union address. Once again, my representative, Keith Olson, is showing the president the utmost respect by live tweeting it while he's sitting in the... Congress chamber. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I, I really do feel it's disrespectful. But I guess he can get away with it because he's Keith Ellison, but I don't know. If your representative was tweeting during the State of the Union, how would you feel about it? That's my question to you. I look forward to you not answering and not coming back tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.